Hello, my name is Michael Tate. I am with Inspired Technical Services. Today we will talk about adding a new SharePoint site to the SharePoint 2007 environment. First we need to log in. As soon as we log in we are taken to the main SharePoint page. To highlight the steps, the areas we need to click or input are circled in red. All site administration is handled through the site actions menu at the top right of the screen. Here we will click Site Actions, then select and click Create. This brings up the Create page. We want to create a site, so we will click the Sites and Workspaces selection circled on the screen. This brings up the new SharePoint site page. This is a fairly long page, so I broke it up into two sections. The circled areas are required input to set up your site. First, we'll give it a title of Staff Meetings. Next, we'll give it a URL of staff meeting off our main SharePoint site. We'll use English for our language. We'll click the Meetings tab, then click Basic Meeting Workspace. The Basic Meeting Workspace gives us a place to manage the flow of our staff meetings. We can add other items such as a calendar or task list once the site is added. Next, we will assign user permissions. It is important to note that on this SharePoint installation, the parent site is also the main site. If this is a unique site which needs to be independent of the parent, choose Unique Permissions. Since we want to include all the users from our main site, we will choose the same permissions as the parent site. Since we want this site accessible from the parent site, we will select Yes to display the site on the quick launch of the parent site. We will also select Yes to display the site on the top link bar of the parent site. To give access to the functionality of the parent site along with this site, we will select Yes to use the top link bar from the parent site. This shows this site along with everything else that the parent site has to offer. Now click Create and SharePoint will create the new meeting site. So now we have a basic meeting site. Notice that we can set the objectives, agenda, and attendees for the meeting. We can also add documents relative to the objectives of the meeting to the document library for the attendees to review. In our next tutorial, we will add a task list to this site so we can review and assign tasks for meeting attendees. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to look at this tutorial from Inspire Technical Services and invite you to look at our other tutorials that we have online. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day.